guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be sharing with you guys how i prepare my kwa koko delicious kwa koko and banga soup and i would like to share with you all how i actually prepared this this is a dish mostly eaten by black people and you know i'm in boya so today i decided to share with you all how to prepare this delicious banga soup banga soup banga soup so please make sure you stick around subscribe to my channel thumbs up this video and share with your friends and family and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to click the like button until now i would like to see you in my next video bye bye to start first with the kwa koko before we move to the baga soup so these are the koko yams i will be using and in cameroon we call this makabo koko yams and the next thing is my leaves these are the leaves i'll also be using as well and i have a pot here simply with a knife so first thing first i'm going to peel these cocoa yams wash them grate them then we'll move on from there Clean them so it's now for me to wash them. Then go to I actually peeled this one the right way in which is how we peeled porridge cocoa yam. You see, but I peeled them the way I peeled porridge cocoa yam. So this is how we grate it using a hand grater. So after I grate it, I'm going to show you what next to do. What we are going to use in preparing a kwa koko. So first thing first is that we will have to take some of the waste leaves. We line the pot with it. This is how we do it. Take the waste leaf, you line the pot. And then you take some of the plantain. This part you put it like this. So this part is set. So this is the kukoyam grater already. You can use a blender to grate yours if you want to. I'm just going to add a small salt. Just very small amount of salt. Then I'm going to mix it all together. Okay, it's okay now. This is my color pot. I'll take one leaf, I'll put it on it. Okay, guys see this so this is how it is supposed to look then now uh, i'll come to my pot and i'll place it inside i'll say again that's it i placed it inside my pot i'll do same with all finally this is the last one my leaves got short guys This is just the last one, still very small. I'm going to place it here carefully so that the side is good. I'm going to 
going to take some waste leaf and I'll cover it with it. Can you guys see that? Then I'm going to come in with my water. I'll light, light it up. And I'll put small amount of water. Some people always put warm water. Pressure. We know they use warm water. Now cold water, my mama they use that. So that's all. I'll cover and gradually I'll come and check and then add in water. Quack a on fire, I'll proceed with the banga. As you can see, I already counted using my food stick out adding water you can add in cold or warm water it depends on you and you know anyway i'm going to link a video down in the description box you should check my bagel soup the one i made before this one you check So I'm just going to extract the juice and I'll show you from the next process. But if you want to see step by step how I did in there, you surely check the next video in the description box. I prepared everything. So this is my bush pepper leaf. This is my pepper, garlic and ginger. And this is the fish I'll be using. This is my onion. This is my mbanga. These are my maggi cubes. And then I have my salt here. So these are the things I'll be using for the soup. But right now, let me check the kwakoko. This uh, kwa kuko is almost ready. It has been cooking for more than one hour, 30 minutes. So I think it is ready. I'm just waiting for this water to get dry. My pot, I just put in some meat, kanda, and then dry fish. I'm going to also add in my onion. I'm going to put in a cube of maggi. That's one cube of maggi. I'm going to go in with my pepper garlic mixture. I'm going to come in with small salt, small amount of salt. I'm going to rinse my small my blender. Small amount of water. I'll cover this to boil. So right now, it's time for me to add in my mbanga. Can you guys see how thick it is? I have to be very careful when stirring it. I don't even I can't stir it. So I'll still allow this to cook. I mean really, really cook. I can't stir it because I don't want the fish to get scattered. Then I will come back and taste for maggi salt and every other thing. Before I can now put in my vegetable. This is that banga soup. That when you hear of banga soup, this is real banga soup. So in the next two minutes time We'll meet on the dining table thank you so much for watching if you enjoy this delicious delicacy please give it a try and let me know in the comment section after you must have tasted this dish at your home until now see you in my next video